What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for tuning in. So today I have a pretty exciting video for you guys. Something I have been excited to install in the truck for quite a while. If you're new to the channel, my name's Joe. This is Living on Wheels. Um, as of right now, the channel's almost all automotive content, diesel build, stuff I enjoy and hopefully you guys enjoy. We got a fun one today. Uh, the truck that I'm working on is my new 2006 5.9 Cummins. I'll show you guys it here. There it is, sitting in the driveway. Big old beast. She is about as stock as you can get right now. I'm just starting the build. I picked that thing up uh, probably a little over a month ago and the build on this thing is just getting started. It is a very stock truck, an 06, 133,000 miles on it or something, maybe 131,000 miles on it. Finally got rid of the uh, cheap little tiny mirrors that came on it from the factory, put some real tow mirrors on it. I uh, just put that video up recently, but there's one thing about diesels that I love, and that is the sound of a good straight piped diesel. Um, as you can imagine, this thing with the cat and the muffler is pretty darn quiet. Now, I'm guessing by the title of this video, I don't know exactly what I'm going to title it, but I'm guessing by the title you might know what I'm going to be putting on this truck, and I am very, very excited for it. A company called Spell Lab reached out to me quite a while back, actually, back when I still had the 7.3, probably at least a year ago. Uh, they reached out to me asking if I was interested in installing one of their exhaust cutouts on my truck. And at the time, I had the 7.3. That already had a 4-inch straight pipe exhaust. And so I'm like, what's the point in putting a cutout on a truck that already has a straight pipe? It's either going to be straight pipe that's right below the cab or straight pipe that's all the way out the back. Um, so at the time, I told them I wasn't really interested, uh, but I appreciate them more wanting to work with the channel. Now... Now is the time that I am very interested. This is something I have never seen anybody do on a diesel truck. I'm sure it's been done, but I've never seen a single video of it on YouTube. And I'm pretty excited for it. So I reached out to Spell Lab and I said, hey, I know this was a while ago that you wanted to work with a channel, but I have this new truck and I would love to try out your product on this new truck. Um, and they were extremely gracious and said, that's awesome, we'd love to still work with you. What product do you want? And I told them I wanted the four inch exhaust cutout that they had on their website. And here it is, four inch exhaust cutout. Normally you see exhaust cutouts on like Corvettes and other muscle cars or sports cars. You usually don't see exhaust cutouts that are four inches. But here we are, we got it. Um, I've had this for about a month now sitting on it waiting for the right time to install it and today's the day that it's finally going on the truck. I am very excited for it. I wasn't sure the quality of the product. I'll be honest, Spell Lab I believe is a Chinese company and their prices are really affordable. Um, I don't remember exactly how much this kit itself costs but it really wasn't that much. Um, far less than a straight pipe exhaust system I can tell you that and by the looks of it we got stainless steel piping that is pretty thick, probably 16 gauge. And the welds on it, I would say they're probably laser welded. Not sure how well you guys will be able to see that, but the welds on it are surprisingly good. Um, you guys know, I want to give you guys my honest reviews and initial impressions. This is far better than I expected. So Spell Lab to you, good job. And there are higher end systems that when you open one valve, it'll actually be a two valve system. So it'll be essentially like you press the button and a valve in this pipe closes and a valve in this pipe opens. So all the exhaust gases will be coming out here. With how this is set up, kind of a more affordable system, this pipe is still gonna be open and this pipe will be open. So some of the gases will still go through the entire exhaust system and out the back of the truck, but the far less restricted area is where most of the exhaust gases will go, which will be out here, out the dump through the valve. 
So, uh, there's not a whole lot more explaining to it. I guess, let me hook up the valve to a battery so you guys can see how it works. Um, and then it's time to get it on the truck. We'll do a sound test before and after so you guys can see the difference. I'm honestly really, really excited to see the difference. Uh, this truck's been stock since I bought it and I'm ready for that to change. Now, I guess some of you guys may be wondering why the heck would I do this instead of just putting an exhaust system on. Uh, I'll be honest, having the full quiet stock exhaust system is kind of nice. Like you're on a long road trip, you're cruising for a few hours or maybe 10 hours or more. Being able to press a button and have it be really quiet in the cab is pretty comfortable. Um, I came from the 7.3, which is an extremely loud truck. And don't get me wrong, I love the sound of it, but having the quietness of this Dodge is pretty darn nice. So I kind of want to be able to maintain that, but I also love the sound of a straight piped Cummins or a straight piped diesel. And so to be able to, at the press of a button, have it quiet or fun is pretty awesome to me. Um, so that's kind of why I'm doing this and I am excited about this. So let me show you guys the valve real quick. We'll do a before test on the truck so you guys can hear it. And then we'll put the valve on and see what it sounds like with it dumping right before the cat. All right, so here's the valve like I was showing you. Just to kind of show you guys how it works. We're gonna hook it up to the test battery. It originally came with a 12 volt plug. Um, I don't wanna have it plugged inside the cab, so I'm just running the wires to the battery. All right, so then here's the controller for it. And press the button, opens up, press the button again, and it closes. So that's how it's gonna work, just off this little key fob. It's got an extension wire to run back to it. Um, so I think we should be good to go. Uh, we're gonna get this thing on the truck and show you guys what it looks like and then see what kind of a difference it makes. So we actually didn't film the install of it. It was kind of a tight, uh, tight quarters down there under the truck. It'd be nice to have a lift, but working in the driveway right now. Um, so we didn't film the install, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like when it was all said and done. It was a pretty darn easy install to do. As you can see, we just cut out a small section of the pipe to fit the valve in, and then we put on two butt end clamps or band clamps on each side. Um, and it seems to seal up just fine. It's nice and sturdy, held in place nicely. It doesn't move around. I mean, it, it's pretty solid in there. Now, unfortunately, we didn't have enough room in front of the cat to put this valve in like I was originally hoping to. Um, kind of a bummer. Uh, so I figured it wouldn't be quite as loud or as good sounding as I would have hoped, but this was a pretty good spot and we had plenty of room uh, to, to work with. So we ended up putting it back here. You may be worried about the uh, the clearance of how low it hangs, and it actually doesn't hang as low as it looks like. Um, it's actually still above where the cat hangs down from, and it's well above where the transmission cross member is. So I'm not too worried about uh, clearance-wise. If I'm hitting this with something, um, I'm going to be hitting a lot of other things with something. So um, clearance-wise, it's not as bad as it looks. It actually is uh, pretty tucked up in a way, and it's not interfering with anything else down there, which is what I wanted to make sure of. All right, guys, a little while later, got a little help from my cousin. Uh, thank you to you for helping me out. Um, the exhaust valve is installed. I haven't started it up yet. I have no idea what it sounds like. Um, I've just checked for function, so it opens and closes. Now it's time for the first startup. The install was pretty darn simple. We ended up just cutting out a little piece of the exhaust pipe. Um, I was planning on putting it in front of the cat, like I was saying, but there just wasn't enough room. The pipe started to curve before, um, or at least there wasn't a long enough straightaway uh, to put the cutout in. So the cutout is after the cat, but before the muffler. Um, not ideal, but it is what it is. At some point, I'll probably go through and cut the cat out and do a cat delete. 
um, and then it'll be just the muffler or the exhaust cutout. Uh, but it is what it is for now, working with what we got. I still think it will be pretty darn good and a big difference over the completely stock exhaust. But yeah, the install wasn't really that hard. Cut out the section, put the pipe in, put do two bank clamps on each side, tighten everything up, run the wire, and it's good to go. So I'm gonna put in a quick clip of uh, what it looks like installed under the truck. It may look like it's hanging kind of low, but it's actually still above where the cat hangs and definitely still above where the transmission cross member is. So I'm not too worried about clearance. Uh, my mouth is hurting right now because I'm smiling in anticipation so much. I tested for function. I doubt you guys will be able to hear it. But I can hear opening and closing. So it's working. So now it is time for the first startup. I am I'm probably going to put this camera on behind the truck so you guys can listen to the exhaust and then I'll bring my phone camera into the cab so you guys can get my reaction. Uh, we'll, we'll start it with the valve closed and then we'll open it up, give it a couple of revs and we'll see how it does. Maybe we'll go for a quick drive um, and do a little uh, comparison that way too. So without further ado, I'm tired of waiting. Let's see how this thing sounds. All right, first startup. Let's get these windows down. All right, so that sounds, I would say totally stock. I think I can hear a little exhaust leak down where the valve is, maybe. Give it a couple revs. Totally stock. Now let's open it up. I hope you guys can hear that. definitely still muffles it but it's got definitely a little more throat to it not not obnoxious I know some straight pipe Cummins can be extremely loud I know this is the cat is definitely muffling it down some because I've been around plenty of straight pipe Cummins and they're definitely louder That's pretty awesome. All right, I think I'm gonna go for a quick drive. So I'm gonna pick up that camera um, and then we'll go for a drive and see how it does. Well, alrighty guys, back in the driveway. Here, let me turn the truck off so it's not quite as loud. It's probably not that loud. All right, so back in the driveway after the first test drive. The truck is definitely milder than I expected. But that being said, I think it sounds way better than it did factory. With the cat and the muffler, it just sounds gutless. You hear, you hear the injectors more than anything else. Um, it just sounds like it... I don't know. It doesn't sound like a diesel should. Um, with the valve open, it definitely has that throatier kind of growl to it that I think any diesel should have. And I think it sounds 
way better than it does stock. Uh, that being said, I will probably drive with it open all the time. Um, I don't see any any worries of it being obnoxiously loud for me. Let me know what you guys think. Should I get rid of the cat? Should I keep the cat? Uh, should I just go with a full exhaust system? Am, am I wasting my time? Um, I think with the cat gone, it'll sound really, really good and a whole lot better. Um, that being said, if this was a dual valve where it closed the factory and opened the dump, I also think that would make it sound better, but those systems are much fancier, much more expensive um, compared to these. Um, as far as the build quality of this thing, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it opens and closes really quickly. Um, like I've, I've been with some exhaust valves that are really slow turning to open and close, and this one is really quick. Um, which is pretty nice. Um, like I showed you guys, the welds on it are top quality. The stainless steel on it's pretty darn nice. Um, overall, there's not a whole lot for me to complain about. Um, it was a pretty solid kit. If it came with clamps, um, I think it should come with clamps. Uh, so Spell Lab, if you want to throw clamps in, not not cheap clamps, like actual quality clamps. Even if you bump up the price a little, I think that would be better um, instead of making the customers go and source their own. Um, especially since it's stainless steel, you're not going to be welding it in your shelf. Um, so to throw in clamps, uh, I think that'd be a good addition to the kit. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the Spell Lab kit. Um, they did reach out to me and tell me that they're running a sale for Father's Day. So it runs from now through Father's Day. Um, and I think they said it was, man, 15 or 20% off, uh, which is pretty, pretty sizable. Oh, the neighbors are walking by. Hello, neighbors. Um, yeah, I think they said it's 15 or 20% off through Father's Day. Um, I think the code was Father's, but whatever it is, I'll put it down, uh, or I'll display it on the screen and also put a link to Spell Lab, uh, down in the description. One, if you guys want to check it out, go check it out. Um, if you want to buy a thing, go buy something. Um, they have everything from like one inch all the way up to maybe five inch, uh, valves. So literally... Whether it's for your truck or for your car or whatever, um, they have a valve for it. And for my initial impressions, it seemed to be pretty good quality. We'll see how it holds up over time. Um, I'll be letting you guys know on that one. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. The truck sounds so much better than it did factory. Um, it's got it's got that throat to it, uh, which I think it should. Uh, as any diesel, especially a Cummins, should. Uh, so that being said, let me know what you guys think. Should I cut out the cat and dump it, um, go straight piped through the valve, um, and then have it as is, or should I leave the cat? Uh, let me know what you guys think. I think I know what I, um, or I know what I'm thinking, um, but I'd be curious to see what you guys say. Uh, I'm also curious to see, go back and review the footage of this, uh, back behind the, um, to see, back behind the truck to see if you guys can actually tell a difference. Um, hopefully the audio turns out pretty good. The mic on this, actually my official camera, is decent. Um, so I think you guys should have been able to. Um, with that, I think I'm going to call an end to this video. Um, I should have a video coming up next week for installing the fog lights on this truck. Uh, what you guys know, if you guys have been around for a while, I had rigid fog lights on the Ford. Uh, those are going on this truck. Um, with a doubt, without a doubt, one of the best mods I've ever done to any vehicle um, is those fog lights. I love them. So stay tuned for that video. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a good weekend. As always, if you guys like the video, leave it a thumbs up. It makes a huge difference in the algorithms of YouTube sharing my channel um, and getting more people watching. Um, the more people watch, the better the content gets, uh, the more fun stuff we get to do. So hit that like button. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll catch you guys on the next one.